Today, we're on our way to Wales to electric classic cars. They're the people that are gonna convert the BFG Land Rover to EV. We're gonna be meeting Richard Morgan, AKA Moggy, who is the electric wizard. And he's gonna be talking to us a little bit about the electrification process and also going in to the specification of all the parts that are gonna be fitted to our Landy. Essentially, you need to be prepared for us to get our geek on. Come on then, Moggy, how did all of this start? Oh, how did it start? Not in here, that's for sure. Yeah. Started at home seven years ago. I, uh, I wanted to convert my first Beetle to electric because I wanted to use it as a daily driver again. So 1965 Beetle, about 100 horsepower and enough juice in it to get me to, to work and back and commute. So that's how it started seven years ago in my garage. So it started basically as a bit of a hobby. Yep. Definitely. and kind of got out of control, turned into this. Very much got out of control, very quickly as well. So you're now converting uh, vehicles to electric for other people? Yeah, oh, definitely. We've got 18 cars in the workshop right now. We've converted over 70 vehicles so far, and they get shipped everywhere from, you know, uh, we've got film stars in LA driving around in them, and like, you know, South Africa, Australia. We're converting vehicles in the UK, shipping them out, but all, we also do kits as well. So we also design and build electric conversion kits that we ship out everywhere as well. All right, talking of kits, any chance you can show me some of the component parts that are gonna be going in this? Oh yeah, in fact, the very kit that's going in this is just over there. Have a look at this. Should we have a little look? Ta-da! All right, can I, the thing that jumps out, first of all, is that, I mean, that, what is that? Well, that's the front battery box. So as the vehicle is there, that essentially sits in onto the uh, old engine mounts. Yeah. And if you're wondering why is there a cutout there, there's the steering box that goes there. That's why. All right. So that essentially drops in and replaces the original engine. So this, this box here is 60 kilowatt hours. So this is the equivalent of essentially what's in a Tesla Model 3 battery pack completely. Complete. So that's 60 kilowatt hours. Yeah. And that's another 40 kilowatt hours, which is the rear battery box. So in total, 100 kilowatt hours. So that goes in the front above the motor? Uh, yep, yeah, uh, no. So this goes in the engine bay. Yeah. The motor actually goes where the transfer box is. So uh, the motor is mid mounted. Just like a supercar, it's mid mounted. Right. So that takes up where the old engine would have been. Yep. That goes in the back. Correct. In kind of the, the loading bay area. This goes where the gearbox transfer box would be. Yep. So this. It turns us, uh, this normally in a Tesla is just driving the rear wheels. Yeah. And what we do is we turn it through 90 degrees, mount it up between the chassis rails where the transfer box uh, was, using original gearbox mounts and holes that's already in the chassis. Yeah. And then this goes off uh, to the front, so that's the front prop, and that's the rear prop. Mm. So you've still got four wheel drive. So we also have a limited slip diff in there to help with off road. Yeah. So, uh, but all that has to be controlled, obviously. So what we do is we spoof it, or fool it, if you like, into thinking it's still in the Tesla. Now to do that, we need a little black box like this, which essentially is taking in things like um, throttle, brake signals, and then it's sending out the signals to this to pretend it's still in the Tesla. So that's essentially the brain, which is telling everything it's all okay yep. and what it wants it to do. Correct. Simple. Massive battery, massive battery. So you've got, what, 100, 100 kilowatt hours? 100 kilowatt hours the brain, the motor inverter, gear reduction, and uh, I'm guessing all those noodles in there, that's the wiring that puts one, it all one together. One or two cables to yeah. join it all together. Yeah, How so. much sort of cabling connects this all? Quite a lot. Yeah? Yeah, and it's big cable as well. I mean, that's your main high voltage cable there, big yeah. thick one, that's 70 mil squared cable. That's some big old hefty cable. Uh, are we going to try and get some of this in there today? Yeah, I'm going to make use of you, Jimmy. Oh, no. What, which, bit go, which bit are we going to try and get in? This bit. That bit? How heavy well, is that? Well, you've got the beef in, Jimmy. Yeah. Come on, how heavy is that? That's about uh, 280 to 300 kilos. So 300 kilograms. I've got to ask, all this stuff, does all of that weight affect how the car's going to drive? No, because 
if you added up all the stuff that's coming off that, yeah. so you've got the engine, yeah. gearbox, transfer box, yeah. exhaust, yeah. fuel tank, radiator, all that stuff, and the fluids, yeah. and you add it all up, it yeah. comes to around about 500, just over 500 kilos. So the only thing that we're adding is basically one passenger worth of weight. And bear in mind, a Defender can carry a lot of weight. Yeah, I don't think that's going to notice. It won't notice, mm. especially when you've got this amount of power, because that is about 450 horsepower under your right foot. Right. So, so if you think, oh, it's going to be a bit heavy, wait until you put your foot down. Yeah. You won't think about it. All right, good. I'm guessing the next thing then is to... Get it in. Yeah, I'm Come not on, looking mate. forward to that. that. Get your hands dirty, get your gloves <laughs> oh, on. Oh, that's looking heavy. That's the new electric motor just going in now. What the guys are having to do is get all the bolt holes lined up just perfectly. So the new motor, which is now mid-mounted, can get connected to the chassis. This is all about critical dimensions. If it doesn't fit absolutely perfectly, it won't go in. So it's taking a little bit of shoving and grunting. This is the new beating heart of the BFG Landy. And it's right there in the middle. This is a big lump of battery. It weighs over 300 kilograms and there's barely any space spare. It's a precision fit. So getting it fit in that space is a really, really tricky and delicate thing. Get one move wrong and you're gonna cause a whole heap of damage. So the guys are taking their time, checking everything and just bit by bit nudging it in. This is gonna take its time and this is one of the problems with custom bespoke building. I mean, this is a completely unique vehicle it's got to be right, and things aren't always right first time. There's got to be testing and adjusting to get it all to fit. And that's exactly what's happening now. It's all a little bit tense. I'm going to keep out the way. Well, that's me done for the next couple of weeks. I'm leaving the Defender in the capable hands of Moggy and his team here at ECC to work their magic. Wow, I was not expecting that. That has changed. <laughs>